In today's video, we're checking out the seasonal market. It's basically where you, you it's basically the way you spend all those tokens or, and stuff you've been collecting throughout the challenges. Uh, so yeah, uh, it has some really cool skins in it, and uh, I will show you how it works and how how best to like obviously how to how to grind the, out these tokens and um, and uh, what what, to, what rewards there are as well. So because there are quite some quite nice ones. Of course, the main there's an epic gun skin and an epic character skin. So the main the gun skin is the S thirty six Deathly Gaze. And the Scarlet Rose skin as well, uh, the ha Hallowed Mus or something like that. But yeah, there's some pretty cool, cool other skins. There's some free crates, some free coupons, and uh, a new theme track, a new Halloween themed theme so song for the background as well. So yeah, if you do come to enjoy the video, make sure to, of course, like and subscribe. And of course, we're going to be using the S36. So if you don't want my S36 load up, then make sure to, of course, stay tuned to the end for that. And let's get into the video. Today's day chat up goes to Sad Axel. They have 2.13k subscribers at the time of recording this video, which is one of the slightly higher ones, I would say. Uh, they are, I think they, I believe, are they are a, um, a Spanish channel. So yeah, uh, if you if you do go over and enjoy any of their videos, then make sure to, of course, uh, like the videos you do enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy the channel in general. Of course, they are do mainly multiplayer content. So yeah. Of course, they have a link down below in the description. I'll put them up on the screen here as well. Make sure to go over, be supported by leaving any supportive comments on how they uh, on um, uh, what they're doing correctly in their videos, and leave any constructive comments on how they can improve the videos. Of course, some sort of constructive criticism is always helpful. So yeah, they, uh, go, make sure to go and check them out. And let's get into the video. Okay, so how you get to the seasonal market is you have to go to the featured event. And in, uh, as you can see, it's actually called Seasonal Store, but yeah, here's, and here you are. Uh, so we have some really cool items, but first of all, uh, to, to get the tokens, all you have to do is, whenever you see one of these tokens, uh, the Season 9 Mission Tokens as the reward, uh, basically all you want to do is focus on that challenge, just kind of, kind of drop, grind that challenge out. There's a whole bunch of them here. Uh, there was a lot of login challenges before, where you had to log in that day to get that challenge done. Uh, so yeah. Uh, we also have, of course, uh, uh, the seasonal challenges as well. Quite a lot of them will be, um, see the mission tokens here. Uh, you, you will need to complete some of these as well, I would say. But yeah, um, these are sim relatively simple to get, honestly. Uh, yeah, just like I said, just complete the t task. It's uh, super simple, si simple as that. And uh, yeah, but yeah, we have some pretty cool skins, I would say. Uh, so of course, we have the S36, which I will show you in a minute, but that's a really cool one. We also have some free crates, like you can get five free crates. So if you do want anything from this crate, uh, for example, the, uh, the wrench, there's a CR56 Amax right there, and there's a knife as well. But if you do want anything from this this drawer, then make sure to, of course, um, well, this, this um, thingy, my brother, this, um, uh, this crate, then make sure to, of course, uh, grind the challenges out and you'll be able to get it. As you can see, here are some more, here are the free crate coupons, you get five of them as well. Then you have the uh, Scarlet Rose Hallowmas. I didn't actually get it right. And it's quite a cool skin as well. Of course, I'll show you this one off in game as well. Then we have the... Uh, the... What's it? The Zombies Are Back 20, Season 9 2022. So last year's theme song. And we have this frame, which I'm not prob probably won't get because I don't really care about the frames. And then, as you can see, I'm just going to scroll through and we'll uh, just show you rudimentary. There's, there's another character skin there. It's actually quite a decent one. And yeah, just scroll through, and here are the rest of the free rewards. Such quite a lot in the end list there. So yeah, you have a lot, lot to pick from. If you do want some of the blue ones, of course, go for the blue ones. But I would say mainly stick to the epic ones, because I don't know if they're really worth getting. So yeah, now let's get into, of course, the training mode, where I can show you off all the these skins. Unfortunately, I don't have the footage of me actually buying the skins, but yeah. That is the seasonal store freed up. Okay, so we are in the train mode. Now, as you can see, I do have the, the skins equipped. So let's quickly look at the Scarlet Roads. This is kind of like a... Okay, apparently won't look at the Scarlet Roads because uh, it apparently wants to disconnect from for me. Why is it called disconnecting? It's super annoying. I need to get a new one, honestly. A new adapter or, or something. Any time today would be nice. At this point, I might as well restart the recording, honestly. There we go, finally, do we have to have, we have to look at it now? There is the Scarlet Rose. Got some decent colour to it as well, and it kind of fits, of course, purple and orange. Uh, fits the theme very much. Um, I'm going to give it a, a, a 7, 6.5 out of 10. Honestly, it's not my kind of skin. I think it's 7 out of 10. It's, it's a decent skin, I would say. Especially for a free one, where we're going to buy three skins here, not every skin in the game. 
And uh, yeah, then we have, of course, the S36 skin. Uh, why are you keep on doing this, man? I know this will be very avoidable this time, unfortunately. Um, you can't really see it properly here, but there's like an eye on the front. Honestly, it's quite a basic kind of like darker skin. Uh, but four, five out of ten, it's got some decent blue on it. But other than that, there's nothing really to say. Um, yeah, actually, the match is quite cool as well. So yeah, five out of ten. No, four point five out of ten. Honestly, they've definitely been some better free skins, and uh, might not be worth. And um, of course, it's worth getting. But if you don't have a, an epic S36, um, and also of course it's free as well. So yeah. Now in terms of the S36, it is a um, it's an interesting gun. I, I never, I didn't think I'd like it, but I had a couple of decent games of it, so I guess it's not too bad. Honestly, uh, not one of the best LMGs, and that's simply because it doesn't have the best base damage, so I don't think you can ever free shot. Uh, which is kind of annoying, um, and um, also, uh, yeah, it just it just gets beaten out of basically every range by um, by the um, by other guns. Also, the mobility is quite bad, quite low. The only redeem quality is it has a large mag size, so you can spray and play a bit. But yeah, so I tried to build it out for high mobility and high accuracy. I think I did a good job of it. Uh, so yeah. But yeah, definitely one that I would do. Uh, it's an interesting one. Maybe use it if you do get the skin and you do want to use the skin. But I wouldn't recommend using it overall, I would say. So yeah, uh, definitely an interesting one. Uh, yeah. I, I did have some fun using it, to be honest. But yeah. They fire, they fire's not too bad. Not the greatest, though. Ah uh, yeah, let's check out the hip fire and and the um and the actually that's another thing. The recoil's not too bad either. I just see absolutely atrocious hip fire. Uh, it's like three out of ten or something for that. And here is the recoil, of course. And you see, it's pretty much all vertical to be fair. Uh, so yeah, not nothing too bad there in terms of the re in the recoil department. So yeah. It's, yeah, it's an interesting one, to say the least. I don't know how I'm missing there. 30. Actually, maybe it can't three shot, you never know. 33. Oh, sorry, no, it can three shot, sorry. 36 to the head. So you take two head shots or all upward shots for it to three shot at this range, um, which is kind of inconsistent. I don't say, okay, it's not inconsistent three shot there. And upper, and upper arms as well. So yeah, it's an inconsistent three shot, I would say. So yeah, definitely one uh, that um, I, it could be useful if you feel way more accurate. I would say overall, I uh, want to stay away from uh, UL and the whole group both better than this, honestly. Um, but yeah, definitely a fun one to check out, I would say. Now I'll check out, of course, the damage range. I think the damage range should be pretty good since it's an LMG, but we'll see. Oh, whoa, that's a major drop-off right there. Damn, man. Okay, so maybe maybe medium range is the main is the main target for this one. Then once you get out of medium range, it's kind of a maybe this is more of an aggressive one than close to medium range. And then once you get out of that, it's kind of I'm assuming it's going to be quite a bad damage range after that. But let's have a look. Yeah, it's already all the way down to eighteen. I believe the headshot will be yeah in the twenties, but still that's really bad for an MG. So yeah, close to medium range for this one. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, maybe maybe not so good. Maybe a bit, of an, a bit more of an aggressive SM LMG, so definitely build it out like that. But overall, not my favourite LMG, but still quite a fun one to use, I found. Uh, so yeah. Would I recommend checking it out? Maybe just for a bit of fun. Uh, but other than that, if you wanted to use it seriously, and maybe you can require leaderboards for it. But other than that, uh, nothing really to say other than uh, stay away from it, honestly. Uh, so yeah, now let's get into, of course, the ranked gameplays, and I'll show you how I did actually have a bit of fun, a bit of success with it, I would say.
case here is my S36 LiDAR. As you can see, it is an accuracy mobility build. Just because the S36, it does have a not so good adapt base damage, so you do want to try and get it sort of as quick as possible. And uh, yeah, I found that having a mobility definitely helps with uh, with this one. So yeah, we have the tactical suppressor for the science ability. We have the uh, campaign general. Surveyor, surveyor light barrel for the minus 12% ADS time, plus 5% movement speed, and plus 2% ADS movement speed. We have the classic red dot for, of course, the increased zoom, and because I don't like the the iron sight on the, the S36. We have the ODC attack laser, which I will read out once it decides it wants to reconnect, of course. It's been doing this all throughout the whole recording session. ODC attack laser for minus 8% ADS time, minus 9.2% ADS bullet spread. And finally, the grand laser grip tape for minus 11.6% ADS bullet spread. Uh, of course, you could swap out the red dot for a broad disabled park or maybe some an, an, an increased ammo. But this is what I found to be the best build for me. So yeah.